number one, to discuss the future value of annual due. Number two, uses of annual due and sinking fund. What is an annuity due? In an annuity due, payments are made at the beginning of the period instead at the end of the period. If equal payments of PMD are made into an annuity due, for n periods in an interest rate of I per period, the future value of the annuity FD is it. Another meaning of annuity. Annuity due. This is the annuity due formula. In any problems that you will see, payment at the beginning or some time period. This is the formula to use. Uses of annuity due. Retirement, college education, like spend money, smart funds, future funds, and insurance. Business acronym term. FB is the future value. PMT, payments of period of time. N is the number of years, whether it's a days, monthly, quarterly, yearly. I is the interest rate in terms of percent or decimal. Example, 8.7% change to decimal 0.087. Let's practice. A. N is 3 years every quarter and interest is 7.8%. What will we do? 3 times 4 is equals to 12 as an end of number of years. So 0 0.078 divided by 12 as an interest. Every quarterly means every 4 months of the year. B. N is 5 years every monthly and interest is 34%. So 5 times 12 months is equal to 60. So therefore, 0.34 divided by 60 as an interest. Let us see. N is 3 years and an interest is 6.6%. N is 3 years and interest is 0 0.06. Note, always change percentage to decimal. Formula for annuity due. Future value for annuity due is equals to payment period of time multiplied by 1 plus interest raised to the number of years plus 1 minus 1 divided by interest minus the payment period of time. Formula for the future value of annuity due. Explanation For an annuity due, an extra period of interest is earned, the n plus 1 in the power, and there is no payment at the end that earns no interest. So the PMT or the payment period of time is subtracted. Example number 1 an investor deposits $500 in a simple annuity at the beginning of each quarter. This annuity earns 2% per year, compounded quarterly. Find the future value if payments are made for 5 years. So the formula will be future value annuity due is equals to payment period of time multiplied by 1 plus I 
raised to the number of years plus 1 minus 1 and divided by the interest and then subtracted again to the payment of period of time. Solution With the payment of PMT as the payment period of time is equals to 500, interest rate per period is 0 0.02 divided by 4 as an interest and the number of periods as n is equals to 4 times 5 for 20. So put the value into give. So let's substitute for the formula. Future value of annuity due is equals to 500 multiplied by 1 plus 0 0.02 divided by 4 multiplied by 20 plus 1 minus 1 divided by 0 0.02 divided by 4 and again we will subtract again to 500 so the answer is $10,000 542.01 in every 5 years let's try to have an explanation since 20 deposits of 500 each would make the total payments of $10,000. The annuity earns $10,542.01 minus $10,000 or the answer is $542.01 in interest. Question number 2. What is sinking fund? Key terms. Singing fund. Singing fund. Summary annuities that are created to fund a purchase at a later date, like some equipment or a college education, are called sinking funds. In a sinking fund, the future value is known, and another quantity in the annuity formula is being sold for. Example for sinking fund Suppose you want to accumulate $2 million in a retirement account in 40 years. The retirement account averages an interest rate of 8% per year. How much would you need to deposit every two weeks directly from your paycheck to accumulate two million? Solution Since deposits are being made at the end of each two weeks period, this is ordinary empty where the future value is two million. Interest rate per period is zero point zero eight divided by 26 as an interest and the number of periods is n which equals to 26 times 40 or 1040 so put the values into the ordinary annuity formula formula for substitute and now we will place 2 million for the future value we will find the PMT or the period of period of time and we will multiply by 1 plus 0 0.08 divided by 26 raise the number of years as 1040 minus 1 divided by 0 0.08 divided by 26. How to solve for the payment of PMT for the payment period of time? So PMT is equals to 2 million divided by 1 plus 0 0.08 divided by 26 raised to the number of years as 1040 minus 1 divided by 0 0.08 divided by 26. And the answer is 262.85 in every two weeks, as this one. 